we are going to be uh, looking at functions in the C programming language today. So I'm going to start my text editor. I'm using Vim. And I'm going to call my code C. Dot, or code.c. And we're going to start off as we normally do by adding in our headers. And this time we're going to use the same header that we've used in the previous tutorials. And that is the include header stdio.h. And then we can start our main function here. So initiate our main function. And then we do our squiggly brackets. And we always want to end uh, that with a return of 0, at least in these tutorials that we're doing here. Now, um, if we wanted to just print out a line like we did in our Hello World, World tutorial, we do print f brackets and we can say I type this or whatever you'd like to say. Close that and always end with your commands with the semicolon there. And then we could exit out of this and run our compiler G++ the name of our C code output so dash O and what we want to call our code we'll say code in this case and with no errors there, we can dot slash name our file. And you can see it printed out. I type this. Uh, and we do want to throw in, in this case, our backslash n for new line. So we will compile that again and run the command again. You can see I type this. Now, if you want to do something repeatedly, uh, we could use loops. But in this case, I'm using this to show you how to use uh, functions. So we're going to create a function that uh, will do our print command for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to create before our main function another function. I'll initiate it and I'll call it my func or my fun either or. And then we're going to do squiggly bracket, squiggly bracket and put our function within those squiggly brackets. And uh, just for time I'm just going to copy and paste that command in there. And at this point, we can come back here and we can erase that line out. And what I can do is I can just call my fun, which is my function here. Remember to end with a semicolon. So the name of the function and then the uh, brackets uh, or parentheses and then um, the semicolon there. Save it. Don't forget to recompile it. And then we'll dot slash our command. And you can see it, the output is the same. Because basically, our code is read through by the computer, but then it starts our main loop and it's immediately calling this function here and it does whatever's in there. So at this point, I can copy and paste that a few times, like so. I can save it and I can recompile. Now, since we added that function three times, we get three outputs. So that is how you call functions. And in, in the near future, we'll go over how to insert variables into those functions. Hope you're enjoying these C tutorials and keep watching for more and visit filmsbychris.com. Have a great day.